Greetings and Shabbat Shalom, family in Messiah Yeshua. Greetings and Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide Israel, Israelite and social media community, community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back with another Yahweh inspired message to edify, to exhort, and to admonish whoso will to seek after Yahweh and to come unto Him with open heart, with the intent of submitting your whole self unto Him. I'm going to read from 1st John, 1st Epistle of God, chapter 4, verse 1. 1st John, chapter, 1st John, chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of Yahweh, for many false prophets are going into the world. And we read again, 1st John, chapter 4, 1st John, chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are Yahweh, but many false prophets, many false prophets don't land to the world. Now I pose this question: What spirit are you in communication with? What spirit are you in communication with? There are many spirits, or rather, there are two manner of spirits. There's the spirit of truth, and there's the spirit of error. The spirit of Truth is Abba Yahweh, Father Yahweh, who is perfect, without blemish, without spot, without defilement. He's pure. He created all things. And there's the spirit of error. That's Lucifer and his evil spirits and fallen Melochim, fallen angels that fell with him from grace, from favor. So what spirit are you in communication with, brethren? What spirit are you in communication with? For if you're in communication with the spirit of Yahweh, one, you have taken on the nature and the spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach, and how you take on the nature and spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach by repentance and water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach or Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul and you have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by, as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits you to speak. If you're in communication with the spirit of Yahweh, there you do strive to live according, live faithfully according to what's written in the set apart scriptures. And according to every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh, if you're in communication with the spirit of Yahweh. Now, if you're in the communication with the spirit of error, whom Arthur masquerades as the spirit of truth, as it's written in Second Corinthians, even Satan himself cam camouflages himself as an angel of light. And let me say it again. As Second Corinthians chapter 12, 11 declares, Satan himself masquerades, transforms himself as an angel of light. So if you're in communion with the spirit of error, then you're walking in opposition to what's written in the scripture. You hadn't been born again according to Acts 38. You don't believe in one God. You don't believe in observing Yahweh's feast days. You don't believe in observing Yahweh's dietary instructions. You don't believe in treating and loving your brother sacrificially. You don't believe in treating the world right. You're walking in opposition to the word of Yahweh. You're walking uh, in opposition to the set-apart lifestyle of Yeshua HaMashiach. 
What spirit are you in communion with? What spirit spirit is talking through you? For if the spirit of Yahweh is speaking through you, minister, then you are properly harmonized, you are properly interpret, you are properly discern the scripture. But if the spirit of error speaks to you, minister, then you improperly harmonize, you improperly interpret, you improperly discern the scriptures, leading to the production, the production of children of hell twofold worse than the one that made them. So again, what spirit, what spirit are you in communion with? What spirit are you in communion with? Our beloved brother John says, Beloved, believe not every spirit. Believe not every spirit. So in order to not believe every spirit, we must try the spirits. In John chapter 6, the words that I speak to you are spirit and their life. The book says again, all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh. So we must evaluate everything that we hear, everything that we see. We must evaluate by the scriptures. We must evaluate it, compare it with the scriptures, with the word of Yahweh. Can't be led by feelings, as our beloved brother Jeremiah said. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Can't okay, go by your feelings. Can't okay, go by your heart. You must be led by the spirit of Yahweh. If you have the spirit of Yahweh. If you don't have the spirit of Yahweh, you don't belong to Yahweh. So what spirit, what spirit are you in communion with? Examine yourself, family. Examine yourself, hearer, whosoever will. Examine yourself, what spirit are you in communion with? What spirit are you giving attention to? Is that spirit cause you to walk according to what's written in the scripture? Is the spirit that is talking to you, is it causing you to walk according to the scripture? Is that spirit that is talking to you, does it cause the scripture to be harmonized? Is it causing the scripture to be rightly interpreted? Is it calling the scripture to be properly discerned, leading you to practically apply what's written in the scripture? Examine yourself. What spirit? What spirit are you listening to? What spirit are you in communion with? Beloved, believe not every spirit. Believe not every spirit. Even if, even if it's of Yahweh, you still got to try the spirit. And our beloved brother, Malachi said, prove me. Yahweh said, prove him. You got to test the spirit by the spirit, the spirit of Yahweh, the word of Yahweh. Beloved, believe not the spirit. What spirit are you in communion with? What spirit? What spirit? If you hadn't repented of your sins, wasn't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sin, for the regeneration of your soul, and had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evidenced by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh Pariji speak, then you, you're in communion with a spirit of error. You're in communion with the spirit of error. You had been born again according to Acts 38. For the spirit of truth is going to lead you and tell you to be born again according to Acts 38. If you believe in three gods, Trinity, um, Henotheism, um, Polytheism, then you're not communing with the spirit of Yahweh. You commune with the spirit of error. If you believe in three gods, Trinity, then the spirit that's leading you is the spirit of error, brother. Sister, you're being led by the spirit of error, you believe three gods, Trinity. You're led by the spirit of error, you believe in Henotheism. You're led by the spirit of error, if you believe that God's black, if you let by the spirit of error, you believe that Yahweh is white, the spirit of error will lead you to improperly harmonize, improperly interpret, 
um, and probably discern the book. As our beloved brother Keeper said, or Peter says, knowing this verse, knowing this verse, the no prophecy of the script by any private interpretation, but set apart men spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So a private interpretation is the interpretation that is not discerned, not properly harmonized. Uh, um, the, the scriptures are being um, clashed with one another. When Brother Shaul instructed us to study, study to show ourselves approved unto Yahweh, rightly deriving the word of truth. So what spirit are you in communion with? Examine yourself. Examine your life about the scripture. What spirit? What spirit? What spirit, I say, are you in communion with? Are you in communion with the spirit of Yahweh? Or are, are you in communion with the spirit of error, the spirit of Satan? What spirit? Examine yourself. What spirit are you in communion with? What spirit? What spirit are you in communion with? The spirit of Yahweh or the spirit of error? Shabbat shalom. Until next time, may Yahweh bless, keep, and sustain his elect ones. And those who are not walking with Yahweh, I pray, Yahweh, you stir your will within your chosen, whom you lead to this message, whom you lead to this channel. For this is your channel, Abba Yahweh. I'm your servant, Abba Yahweh. Let your name be exalted. Let the name of your beloved son be exalted. So be it. So be it. Shalom.